Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you've just watched my main channel video on this and you want to know what it looks like inside. Well, let's take a look. This, by the way, if you haven't come from that video, which I suggest you go and watch, is an adapter that allows you to play the original Famicom games um, on your Game Boy Advance SP. So what I want to try and find out if I can, not that I think I will be able to, is whether or not the inside of this is just an entire Famicom system uh, and then all that the Game Boy is doing is just reading the data from this uh, and outputting it on this screen and using these buttons to interact with the basically Famicom plugged into the back. So reasons why I believe it's an entire um, system plugged into the back is because there's batteries to power it, it's got its own speaker, a reset button, it's got a separate volume wheel. So I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just basically transforming this data from the Famicom to be read with the Game Boy Advance SP. It requires a Game Boy Advance game to play, but that's only because it needs to bypass the system check at the start to show that it's actually a Game Boy uh, licensed Nintendo product plugged in. Uh, so there's some screws on the back. There's some things that keep falling off. Let's take it apart. Battery's out. There we go. There we go. Uh, after that, it becomes quite light, so it doesn't really feel like there's a lot actually going on inside it, but we shall now find out. I know a lot of people don't really care about um, this kind of stuff, so that's why I didn't include it in the main channel video, because that's just more sort of like light-hearted entertainment, but this is exactly what this second channel is for, so uh, let's try and figure it out together. So we should just be able to lift off this back piece now. Okay. So we have right here just two contacts and here is the actual motherboard itself. These little doors just come off. Is that even held in with anything? I can't see any screws. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, that speaker needs to come out. Lovely. Okay, look at that. So all that we've got going on here is the cartridge. Uh, that's just the pinout uh, to line up with the cartridge port, so we can ignore that. But there is some chips, and they've all been uh, been redacted, so that someone's taken a little Dremel and uh, and rubbed it all off. So we can't see what they are. But I'm going to send it to a friend of mine who's very knowledgeable with this kind of stuff. His name is Sean from SJM4306 the YouTube channel, I'll put that up in the card, and uh, I'm hopefully gonna get some information from him. So here we go. How is it working, you utter wizard? Sean is currently contacting the um, electronic gods through a ritual that he performs, uh, and at any moment now he'll be able to translate the ancient scrolls, scriptures into text via a Facebook message. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's probably just a N-O-A-C. We all know what one of those are, don't we? Uh, that is modified to send the video buffer into one of the GBA's bitmap mode. Sends audio grabs button presses to the appropriate registered on the GBA bus. So I think that's the technical way of saying exactly what I bloody said, which is that the Game Boy is just acting as a screen and a controller. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Sean. 